This short video filmed at the Habitat Stewards property describes how to use Plantra products to increase the survivability of wildlife trees and shrubs to improve habitat. The first location is a former alfalfa field that has been converted into a food plot. Fifteen years ago a single row of spruce, pine, and cedar trees were planted along the road on the north side of the field. With the help of family and friends, an additional row of white spruce was planted, which will provide additional seclusion for the animals utilizing the food plots. Planting trees and shrubs around food and hunting plots increases utilization of the plots because the animals feel more secure with cover nearby. In this case, they are also shielded from the road, which decreases the danger of poaching by passing vehicles. To help the establishment of the white spruce, we use weed mats around each of the trees. The mats will inhibit the weed growth around the young trees which will decrease the competition for nutrients and moisture in the soil. Because young trees do not provide an effective visual barrier, we have planted corn along the trees to assist where the initial row has gaps. Some hunting plots are planted on the corners of larger food plots or agricultural fields. In this location we have planted various wildlife shrubs and seedlings to provide separation between the smaller hunting plot and the larger food plot. We have used both weed mats and tree tubes for the various wildlife shrubs and seedlings. The weed mats decrease competition for nutrients and moisture from the surrounding weeds. The tree tubes protect the seedlings by preventing browse pressure and wildlife damage. By protecting the seedlings from wildlife, the tree tubes enable the plant to establish its root system and grow above the 4-5 to five foot browse line. On the north side of the property, we have planted a small wildlife apple orchard utilizing tree tubes and weed mats. Tree species that can survive the high moisture periods of swamps is limited. We have planted swamp white oak seedlings utilizing tree tubes and weed mats. Apple trees, cherry trees, grapes, raspberries, and blueberries all benefit from the plantar tree tubes and weed mats. We are experimenting to test the viability of growing white cedar seedlings in tubes. With all coniferous seedlings, weed mats are also recommended. This video has shown how Habitat Stewards uses planter products to increase the survivability of the seedlings we plant, and they can help with your Habitat projects too. For more information, please visit www.habitatstewards.org or www.planter.com.